Hello, this is Chris Menard. As you know, I've been doing a lot of Excel and Word uh, videos. So here's something for Gmail users, which I'm one of them. Even though I teach Microsoft Outlook, I do love Gmail. And I wish Outlook had this feature. In my inbox on Gmail, if you look over to the right-hand side, I have icons for my attachments instead of just being a paper clip. So, and if I mouse over an icon, it'll actually tell me what the name of that file is. So that is actually pretty cool. Now here's how I installed that. One, you must be using Google Chrome as your browser. Two, you come right up here and click to customize Chrome. Point to more tools and go to settings. I'm sorry, go to extensions. And listed are all my extensions, but it's the second one. It says attachment icons for Gmail. So you would open up Gmail, make sure you're in Chrome. Open up attachment icon for Gmail, Google it. It'll be that very first one. Notice it has a 4.4 rating as of this month, which is September 2017. And then you just go and install it. If you decide you no longer want it at some point, back here, back to more tools, back to extensions, and you put it in the trash can or you remove it from Chrome. Second feature that Gmail has is a lot of people don't know that Gmail has a reading pane. And it's right here. And you can decide whether you want it to be vertical, horizontal. So I'm going to turn it on. So now if I click on a email, there's my email over here. So it is working. And you can also put it at the bottom. So it's up to you whether it's on the right or at the bottom. Here's how I turned on the reading pane. I'm going to turn it off first. Now in your Gmail, so this this trick will work whether you're in Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, it doesn't matter what browser. You come here to the gear, you go to your settings, and across the top, go to Labs. This is where Google experiments with stuff in their Gmail under Labs. And Preview Pane, notice I have it enabled. I'm going to disable it. So if this was you doing it the first time, you would go to labs and you would enable it. And by the way, it may not be here. It may be a little bit further down. So just scroll down, make sure you hit save changes. Your Gmail will automatically refresh. That's what it's doing right now. And let me try that again. I think I need to disable it. That's the problem. Labs, my bad. I need to disable it. You'll enable it. I'm just turning it off. So those, there's two, it's gone now. There are two tricks for Gmail users. 